This is the first lecture for Module 8 of the Apologia General Science Book. Module 8 is called Uniformitarianism and Catastrophism. Today we're going to put together a couple of the modules that we've just covered. Remember in Module 6 we talked about the geological record. Then in Module 7 we talked about the fossil record. Today like I said, we're going to look at both of those and examine what we've learned and how we can apply those. Today, where we're going to head is, first of all, we're going to look at how the uniformitarianist looks at the geological record. Then, we'll see how the uniformitarianist looks at the fossil record. Then, we'll look at how the catastrophist looks at the geological record. And finally, how does the catastrophist examine the fossil record? So let's begin with how the uniformitarianist explains the geological record that we have today. How does the uniformitarian explain the formation of the geological record that we have? Well, let's imagine that there are two different parts of the world. Region A may be in North America, and Region B would be someplace completely different, maybe in Africa, for example. Well, over time, which for the uniformitarian would be millions of years, a layer of sedimentation of sedimentary rock is laid down in both regions of the world. Say, for example, that in Region B, a flood occurs and washes that layer away. Then, over the next several million years, another layer of sedimentation is laid down. After another 10 or 100 or several hundred million years, another layer is laid down. Again, more time goes by and another layer is laid down. Let's say now at this point in Region A, there was some really strong hurricane winds that occurred, and they actually eroded away that whole layer. Notice now that both regions have three layers, but they represent different time periods. As time goes on, another layer would be laid down. Let's say again in region A that for one reason or another that layer erodes away. Now another layer is laid down. And let's say that this time in both regions something occurs that causes that layer to erode. Now another layer is laid down and let's say that this time it remains in both regions. So now we have these two regions of the world with their various layers. And that concludes how, or that explains how the uniformitarianist looks at the geological record and is the end of this section of the lecture.